Hey guys, in this video tutorial, we're gonna study about catalog procedure. In the previous example, we learned about in stream procedure. So let us begin with catalog procedure. This video tutorial is gonna be about catalog procedure in job control language or JCL. In the in-stream procedure, we saw how we can define an in-stream procedure which starts with PROC and end with PEND can be invoked upon to avoid code repetition. Today, we'll see a similar type of a procedure but it would be cataloged into an another PDS which can be called upon by specifying the JCL library. Now let us see step by step how, how can we define a procedure which is catalogued and a JCL which can call the procedure which is catalogued. We will first begin with creating a catalog procedure. Create, I've already created a PDS with a proc library and a procedure name as CREPSPR. In this, you can see a catalog procedure is already defined. Let me delete this and we'll redefine it once again. catalog procedure catalog procedure is similar to as an in stream procedure the only difference is the procedure is defined into a separate pds member which is cataloged into the mvs system let us begin with defining the proc name the proc name can be a variable depending upon the user. In this case, I'll give the name as CREPSPR. Create PSPR. Proc start. Followed by the statement need, needed to be executed. Exec. Program name DD one DDDSN and a symbolic parameter in order to replace it according to the statement invoked upon or according to the value needed. Disposition as new, cataloged, and delete. Primary quantity and secondary quantity. Close release. A comma is missing. Please be careful to avoid any syntax error. Data control block. Record length is equals to 80. Record format of FP. Block size. Multiples of record length. And this organization as PS. After the start, we need to define the end of this procedure. And as you can see, a proc name with CREPSPR is defined 
with a proc start and a proc end followed by the exec and the dd statements. Let us save this. This member is defined into a proc library. This one. Let us go into our GCL where we can use this member name or a catalog procedure. In the previous example, we looked into the in stream data where we in stream procedure where we had defined the procedure itself into the streamed JCL. Here in this case, we will replace the in stream with the catalog procedure. Now, as you remember, we have defined the catalog procedure into the PDS, PDS name. So first, first we'll define the proc location, proc which is present, GCL library, followed by an order keyword, proc lib. So here we have stored our catalog procedure at this location. Proc name in order to call it. So the step one, two, three, four, and five invoke the catalog procedure which is located at the PDS mem PDS name proc library. Let's save and submit. can see the job as submitted with a max cc00 let's conf confirm if the pds has been created yes the ps has been created with name ps1 ps2 ps3 ps4 using a catalog procedure let us get back into the catalog procedure and overview how we had called this procedure here we define a a proc name or we define a step name and then we define the GCL library where we have stored the catalog procedure using the name of the catalog procedure we can invoke and execute command on it and replace required symbolic parameter a GCL library can have multiple number of PS a multiple number of storage locations the catalog procedure to be find out like for example here you can define another another location suppose example main door proc library so this statement proc location will look for a catalog procedure CREPSPR into the about to about to libraries mentioned as you can see we were successfully able to create the PS 1 2 3 and 4 please let me know for any more doubts thanks for watching the video